Hello and welcome back to Tokyo Toys Finals. Uh, we're, we're four rounds of Swiss in and yeah, uh, so far I've managed to go EXO with some, some Mono Water strangeness. Mono Water party there, it's been a long time coming. I mean, I'm confused why I'm here. You've seen, you hopefully you've seen the round two at this point and it was... Um, like watching a gazelle eat its own young. Uh, whoa, that's, that was dark. Darker than I expected. Um, uh, do, do you want to go first or second? I'll take first. Okay. Um, that's honestly like that's the sort of hand that I think if I had to gamble on it, I I would probably have kept it. Yeah. yeah, I did the right thing to Mulligan because the, the next cards were terrible too. Considering there's 17 backups in this deck, I've just not really seen them too much today. My, la my last round was a okay. forward simulator game, and this one looks like it's going to be two. I'll draw one. I'm going to pitch a lightning for a cannoneer and pass. Thank goodness. Scholar and pass. Mm. Going to tap one. Oh. Tough stuff. Uh, tough stuff and maybe a strong one, but it's uh, interesting. Pitching a hope for Pinello, search, ban, pitch, ban for Noodle. Uh, no okay, yeah, that's uh, a more explosive setup than. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> more explosive than. Oh, wait. Four, four, Yuna and Andoria. And I'll pass again. While you're still sorting out the previous turn. While, while I'm still picking up my carcass, I shall see how the rest of it goes. Um, Two. Tap five, pitching Ramza for Ramza. For Ramza? Ramza the summon? Uh, oh yeah. I did actually mean to put him aside, I just failed at doing so. So we've got a forward, Light, an and a forward, Ramza. and a backup. Okay, that's uh, not We're getting that one, and basically whatever gels best with the rest of your hand. Hmm. I think I'll... I've not been yet sold on the lightning. I'm not really sure. Uh, I think it's a cool card, but I think that we can do better than on 8k for 1 CP these days. And a lot of the time, it's only good when you're already the aggressor. Uh, I'll pass turn on five. Okay. Four on one white mage. Pass there. White Mage has been very useful. Uh, it's, it's something that's kind of... Uh, when it itself, in any situation, mm. takes damage, it's reduced by 3,000, or anything that happens to be partying with White Mage. The wording is a little bit unusual in English, but in other languages it's much less ambiguous, and that it's not just while it's in a party mm. that it takes less damage. It, it just doesn't die to fail for. It takes only 2,000 from Fina, stuff like that. Mm. That has been very handy at the moment. We shall tap one. That's great. Tap one, pitching a. Actually, no, we'll do it this way instead. One, two, three. For Cyclops, white. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to take back. I mean, yeah, fair point. So that's slow. I think in all that, with the Kuchu lane, is going to be stronger for now. Tap one. I took back Kuchu Lane because right now Leviathan is going to kill absolutely nothing of value, but Kuchu Lane being able to cycle for 1 CP will probably get me to the stage of water being set up that little bit faster. Pitching of a Bartholomew, uh, tapping Moogle 13 for Nora, search a hole and That's been a really good setup for you. Uh, surprisingly so, uh, where is Hope? There is a Hope and... Um, Whack it and pass. A big problem for me today has been finding Vikings in time for Layla, and I kind of want to go up to three Granny. I've always been a big advocate of three of everybody's favourite Granny, just because it helps you set up in so many different ways, and this deck just does different things once you're once you're set up, you know. We're going to tap one, two, three for on your next. Concerning, but I'll take it. Well, Onion Knight hand for Onion Knight special. Yep. 
Swing 8k Brave. Since I took a point of damage, I get an onion knight back. Cool. What did you take back there again? Uh, the, over the course of the last couple of things, oh, that bottom dying that and that bottom hitting. Life life. So, the, yeah, a Leviathan is back and also the 1 CP Cuchillian is back in hand. Hmm. We'll tap. 1. 2. Pitching a. Hope. And an Onion Knight. Oh dear. For Van, reveal the top five, play one free cost forward. Hmm. That's, that's a lot of really spooky stuff, actually. Take the Illa, because that's the one that does. Uh, then I. Shuffle. I put it on the bottom. Uh, that's, done. that's a lot of forwards very quickly, and it's not really cost you much hand size. Really tricky. Right, one for an evoker. And then we'll do Yuna and one for Rosa. Hmm. And I'll pass there. Does Rosa include herself? Yes, Rosa does include herself. R Rosa is a very good card like that. One of those generous things. Unlike Cecil, who can't cover for himself. It'd be wonderful if he could split 8,000 damage into two lots of 4,000 on himself. Just for Minwu's sake. But no such thing. Tap. Five. Uh, which one of two ways do I want? Yeah, I didn't draw my land Five. Cool five. Five for lightning since I control a category 13. You sure do. Yep. End of combat. Swing of ill for six. Let's just take some damage. I was going to say, is that my foil? It's the only one I've got the same. Swing with Van for eight. I'm going to chance that as well. Swing of Lightning for four. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Swing with Onion Knight. The four blockers, I'm going to turn off his ability to search out another Onion Knight. On this. Uh, sure. And I'm just going to take the damage. Okay. Uh, I shall pass the time. Well, this has felt compelling. <laughs> what do I have left here? One on a white mage. Okay. Probably worth something. I feel like there's an awful lot of ways I just lose here, and that lightning is a big contributor of that. Mm. There's a few different things. Oh, my goodness. Waka and two for Nicole. Mm. The safest thing is like I, I can't really risk you me doing part of this to lightning and then you flicker in lightning, so I have to do it to Onion Knight and Van. Okay. For minus five thousand. Yes. Crack Scholar target Nickel. Um, sure. And then we'll do Layla and Layla. Nickel on both of these. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That'll be yeah, minus 9,000 in total. Two of the abilities. Mm. So, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That Onion Knight is such a high pressure card. It uh, is really surprising to say the least. I'm just going to pass there. Van's also dead. Oh, yes, Van is also dead. I cannot count. Thank goodness. Mm. 
You'll need to tell me at the end if you actually had the other lightning in hand or if I should have gotten rid of the thing that has the really scary ability instead of that. That is a fair question. Um, I'll have to find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. It's <laughs> yeah, to be continued. There's just too many ways of you, you causing problems, like even, even on middle spec. Top 5? Uh, for both the juice. Why by one thing is correct? She will be reduced to 2000 power. Yeah. Just to 2000 stand back up. Sure. Um, one, two, three, four. On your night, try to kill Rosa. I think on the stack of that, I'm going to. Leviathan and Bamfrit. Um, on the stack of Famfrit. Okay. <laughs> See. Nope, uh, that's fine, I'll put that back. Because, because oh wait, did I? I didn't take an onion right back from doing that. That's a good point. I'll take card name onion right. Sure. Uh, no, wait. Do you have any other onion right there? Is it any onion knight from that window? Uh, onion knight? Is, 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 oh, wait, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's any card not named one on onion knight. Onion knight of any element except wind. There we go. Right. So I'll take lightning onion knight back. Okay. Correct dot deck. Tap one. Pitching. Cannoneer. For onion knight. Cool. Pitching Onion Knight, give him Good Lord. Strike and Brave. Okay. Swing Lightning, Dulling Nickel. Uh, yeah, I'm just done. I could either Lightning to Resurrect her or Onion Knight Special again. Did you have the Lightning all along? Nope. <laughs> well, you drew it so quickly afterwards anyway that. I think mm -hmm. that you would have gotten just as much benefit out of replaying another one, and it would still just have had haste, it still just have dulled something anyway. Yeah, it would have still haste, dull. I think the, the, dull kill, killing the safer forwards probably made sense to me, but yeah, like, uh, that's how you beat water, just do enough damage. And uh, the, I think my early forwards not meaning anything because of the Cyclops just helped you kind of stabilize around that, and yeah. uh, I didn't really have an awful lot of, of characters mm. worth counting. No, I knew the, the big thing about your deck is you kind of just swarm the field, and once you start parting in, I can't really let them in, or you're what, just going to One of those rare decks where Cyclops is significantly better than Vilfur. Yes, I've, I've included Cyclops because I feel it's a much better combat trick with the recent Kane. Exactly, yeah, you, you, you don't want Kane to take all of the combat damage, you would much rather he didn't trade with 7k and stuff. So. I've been yes. playing him in uh, Waterwind myself because he's very good with Kuchu Lane, mm. uh, playable with Edge, a lot of stuff like that. Mm. Yes, the stronger your combat tricks, so the thank, better Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll leave in the comments who ended up winning a Swiss on strength of schedule, because this is a real turn up for the books. <laughs> Cheers!